Hey everyone, and welcome to the tutorial series for the NPC Manager system. Today we'll be taking a look at how to customize station usage for individual NPCs. It's going to be a fairly short video, but again, our goal is to separate stations to be used exclusively by specific NPCs under the same POI. And we're going to do this by adding specific tags to the stations, to the NPC controllers, and finally, to the profiles. This is a fairly uh, useful use case, and I've gotten a, a few questions about that. So what I've done here is I've, I've used the same map from the last devlog. I just added a few more stations here, and I have two NPCs, and right now they're both basically having the same uh, functionality. One of them is Bob, and one of them is Bill. So we have Bob and Bill, and right now, if I just take a look here and I press play, you'll see that they're just moving around and selecting random stations. Every single time a station is selected and you and the NPC finishes using a station, it requests a new station from the POI and the POI will give him a random station from all of the free stations. And you'll notice that they're going up really fast. Uh, and that's because I've increased the simulation speed. So we are not sitting here making sure that it kind of works. Um, and you can do that, by the way, if you select the, the NPC manager blueprint on your level, you should have one every single time on your level. And if you notice under setup, there's a section here and, and under an option says use time dilation and you can put whatever number you want here. This is really, really handy for testing purposes. So it's kind of a nice hint. Uh, in case you guys didn't know this, time dilation is uh, is a is a factor here. So one means 100%. That means the game will run normally. But if you put four, that means the game will run at 400% speed or four times faster. Uh, so you can use this quickly to make sure that things are working. And then when you're done and you want to test it for real, you just disable this and the speed goes back. So for this video, we'll keep it really fast because we want to make sure that things work. So. All right, so basically, again, right now, the NPCs can use any station whatsoever. But what we want to do today is we want to separate the stations to only be used exclusively by a certain NPC. That's actually fairly simple to do. Um, first thing we'll notice is that this guy here is Bob, and this guy here is Bill. Let's, I, and I purposely put Bob on the right and Bill on the left. So now what we can do is we can we can grab the right hand side of this POI and all of the stations here. Let's assign the right side to Bob. So that way it's easier to, for us to verify that it's working. So what you can do is you can select the stations and under setup all the way towards the bottom. You'll notice that there is a tag list and it is an array. So you can add as many tags as you want. But for this example, we're going to go ahead and simply write Bob. And it can be anything you want, but for this example, just go ahead and write Bob. And for the left hand side, we'll select all of the stations and we'll scroll all the way down. And instead of station here, we'll put bill. And I'm going to uh, explain to you the logic in just a second. So now all of the stations on the right are Bob. All of the stations on the left are bill, but that isn't enough. We need to add the same tags to Bob and bill. So here, if you go to the NPC controller for Bob, if you collapse this, notice that we also have a station tag list. And I already added Bob here, but you can but just, just uh, understand that you have by default station, that's the default value. And you can add Bob here, or you can just remove station and only keep Bob. And the same thing here for Bill. So if I select Bill's controller and I look at the stations, Bill can use any station with a tag station or any station with the tag Bill. And finally, we need to add those tags to the profile. So what I've done is I've actually created two testing profiles and we can see that the profile here, one of them is called test Bill and the other one is called test Bob and I have them right here open. So if you open your profile for the specific task, if you're using a POI, you'll also notice that there is a station tag list. So it's the same logic again. So this is Bob and I'm going to change station and I'm going to say Bob and I'm going to compile and save. 
And for Bill, I'm going to change the station tag to Bill. Again, you need to make sure that the spelling is correct because this is literally just comparing a string, a value to the same value. So now if we click on play, notice now that Bob stays on the right hand side and Bill stays on the left hand side because we've effectively told Bill and Bob that they're only allowed to use stations with those specific tags. And every single time the NPC requests a station from the POI, the POI will look at the tags on the stations themselves, on the NPC controller, and on the NPC's current profile and task. And that is how you can divide the stations. Now, here's the concept uh, to make it very clear. The reason I'm using a, an array of tags is because the, the only way that a station will be marked available for a specific NPC is if three conditions are met. Uh, it, it, it makes sure that uh, the tag, uh, the one of the tags included in this list for the specific station, it's also included in the NPC list and it's also included in the profile tag list. That means that you can overlap the tags as well. So notice that this NPC, Bob, not only has uh, the tag Bob, but also has the tag station. So if I were to grab a station here and change its tag to station, then Bob could also use that station. But because I also have the same case for Bill, Bill would also be able to use the station with the tag station. So you can see that you don't have to separate them fully. What you can do is you can create overlap. So you can have a set of stations with just a standard tag station that any NPC can use by default but then you can have specific stations only have an additional tag, for example, Bill or Bob, and those will be used only by those NPCs. Now, keep in mind though, that because you have, if you have a, if you have a station with more than one tag, say that you have station Bill and, and, tag, and station here, then they will be able to use, uh, be used by any NPC with the tag Bill, but also station. So again, it's a little bit hard to explain, but it's actually fairly simple once you, you wrap your head around that. And the same thing goes for the profile. Remember, we're looking for only one match. So right now, Bob and Bill have two different profiles. But what if you wanted to use the same profile for Bill and Bob? But you wanted to keep the separation of the stations here. Well, that's also very easy to do. Let's go ahead and grab Bob's uh, profile here and add another tag and let's call this Bill. So Bob now has the ability on the profile to use either Bob or Bill. And now what we do is we grab Bill, make sure that this is actually Bill. Yep. And let's change his profile from Bill to Bob. So now Bill and Bob are both using the same profile. The same profile has both tags. Yet notice that they're still keeping that separation. And that is because the stations themselves only have one tag. So you can create separation either at the profile level, at the NPC level, or at the station level. But the bottom line and the most important thing to remember is that there has to be at least one match across all three uh, areas, the controller, the station and the profile. And if you have that one match, the NPC can be assigned that station. All right. That is pretty much it, guys. If you want to see a live example, you already have it. If you go to the time of day map, you'll see that both the male and female NPCs that spawn on that house have two different profiles in each bed already has a separate tag. That way the male always uses its own bed and the female always uses her own bed. So you already have that example, but hopefully this was easy to follow. Again, it's as simple as adding tags. Feel free to play around with the concept and add as many tags as you want. You should have plenty of flexibility to divide your stations uh, by NPCs this way. All right, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you in the next video.